Hey everybody, I'm here today to give you a very quick look at the inside of an electrical power bar. So as you can see right here, I have a very simple and basic power bar. And I am going to take it apart and sort of give you a quick tour of its internals. So um, I've taken the liberty of loosening the screws already, so I'm just going to remove them completely right now, really quickly. Once again, uh, I loosened them before the video so I wouldn't have to waste a lot of time, um, you know, loosening them during the video. Oops, alright, just two more screws. Now that I have removed the screws, I can take apart the power bar. So I'm just going to take it apart and as you can see, there is not really anything to the bottom other than the fact that it is you know, a case, a bottom end case for the power bar, but in the top portion right here, this is where um, all of the good stuff is. So as you can see right here, there is a wire leading into the power bar, and there was obviously a three-prong plug at the end of this that I cut off, and inside that um, this insulation right here, there is a black wire, a green wire, and a white wire. Now the black wire is for the hot or power supply, so it's referred to as the hot wire. The green wire is the ground wire, and the white wire is the neutral. Now all of these three wires connect to this little, um, this little CPU unit over here, and this is connected to the switch and this light. So this light um, tells us whether we are protected or not, and the, the CPU will determine whether or not the power bar is protected, and if it is, it will light this, uh, this little light up. And this is the on and off and the reset switch, so if it controls, it sends a signal to the CPU, so when it is off, it will tell the CPU that it is off, and the CPU will stop the power from going to the uh, bars over here, and if it is on, it will obviously um, allow the power to continue to the bars. So if you take a really close look, you can see that the white wire connects right over here. So the white wire connects over here, and this piece is further connected to this bar along here, right along the top that you see here. So this is the neutral bar right here. So each of these prongs, and I'm referring to this bar at the top, so I'm going to flip it over, and these prongs along the bottom right here, they are all the neutral prongs, because they are all connected to this white wire over here. Now on the other side, um, it's kind of hard to see because it's a very tight space, but the black wire is connected to this piece right over here, and it is then further connected to this bar here along the bottom. So when I flip it over, this bar along the bottom will coincide with the prongs on the top. All of these prongs on the top are the are connected to that black wire, so they are connected to the power wire. And then one last thing, if you take a look um, in the middle there, you can see that green wire. That green wire is connected to this bar in the center. So when I flip it around, you can see that the green wire, which is the ground wire, is connected to all of these center prongs right here, all of these center holes. And that um, is the ground, that connects to the ground wire, so when you plug in a, a when you plug in um, a plug with three prongs attached to it, this prong right here, the one in the middle, is the ground prong, which will then connect to this bar in the middle, which then connects to the green ground wire. And that's basically it. That was a very quick and simple tour of an electrical power bar. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.